Hi there everyone and welcome to the third video in the SAM for Beginners tutorial series. In this video we're going to connect to the server and we're going to take a look at some basic commands. So the first thing I want to show you is how you can connect to the server. And it's really simple, all you have to do is to double click on your server and then you click on connect. Okay guys, so now it's starting and if it works you should say welcome to Grand Larceny seems to be working fine and now what we have to do is to choose the city which we want to start in and I'm just going to use the default city so I'm just going to click on the left mouse button I'm also going to use the default skin which is the police officer so I'm just clicking on spawn and here I am okay so the first thing I want to show you is the Archon system now what I want you to do is to click on T to bring up the chat. You then write slash Arkan login and then the password. Remember the password which was Arkan underscore password in the server.config that's the password you want to enter here. So you enter change me and then I added the character D remember. You just entered the password that you entered in the server config. Then you click on enter it says server you're logged in as an admin. I'm not going to cover all of the Archon commands, however I am going to cover the essential ones. The first one which is essential is slash Archon CMD list. This is going to show all the commands that you can uh, execute using the Archon system. Now remember that the Archon system is only the remote console. If you have the console which is the server application running on your computer, you can use that instead if you want to. Okay, so if you want to see all of the commands, you have to scroll up to the chat, and to do so, you just click on page up and page down. And the first one we see is echo. And this is, as I said before, this is just going to write something in the console. The next one is exec, and this has to do with executing scripts. This is nothing I'm going to cover in this tutorial. We then have CMD list, which we're in now. We also have var list, which is going to show a lot of values. We also can exit the script, kick and ban people, change the game mode or s restart the game mode. And we can also do a lot of more things as you can see. There are some fun commands as well like the say one. And if you do slash arc and say and then hello world, it's going to say hello world. And then you can set the gravity and weather and whatnot. So that's basically the Archon system. The next thing I want to show you is the coordinate system. Now, if you look at the north, then there, when you save coordinates, you usually save on three different axes. Now the first one is the X1, and this is if you look to the north, the one to the right and the left. The Y1 is the one in front of you and behind you. And then we have the height as well, which is the Z1. Now to save the coordinates for this player, all you have to do is to click on T to bring up the chat. You then do slash save and then you write a police officer in front of house. In front of a house. And as you can see it says on foot position saved. So now it has saved this position on all the different axes. So now we can get the height, we can get where he is on the x-axis as well as the y-axis. We can also do this with vehicles. So if you want to store a vehicle, you can simply just write T, then slash save car at pavement. And that's it. So that's the saving of coordinates and the Archon system. Okay, so what I want to do now is to go back to Windows and show you where you can get these coordinates from. Okay, to get the coordinates, all we have to do is to go to our Documents, Grant of Data San Andreas User Files, and then go to the folder called SAM. We then double click on SavePositions.txt. These two lines represent the first police officer as well as the card that we saved. The first line has to do with the police officer and the second one has to do with the car. I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial. 
it will go for another tutorial. But you should know where you can find the saved coordinates and how to save coordinates. And in the next tutorial we're going to take a look at the script for the first time. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.